Why did you lie to me? You're becoming paranoid. Maybe you should get a gun. I really enjoyed getting to see this film. It's it's so fun. I love when they're kind of trying to guess, you know, who did it and stumble yes, their way through it. it. Yeah. With the others. Yeah, exactly. And this really isn't your typical one because you've got so many, you know, different aspects going on. Your family's art collection is stolen. Uh, so, so talk to me a little bit about uh, entering in and, and getting to make this film. Like a very fun story, like in how I booked it. I got the audition. I auditioned. I I I didn't expect to get a call back at all. And I think a holiday happened, and then I got a call back. And then once I got deep in the process and I you know, got really close. I, I did all the research and I was like, oh my God, this would be so incredible because I never believed that I'm going to get it. You know, <laughs> it's a, it jinxes the whole thing. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of John Hamm. I'm a huge fan of Annie Mumolo. I'm a huge fan of Aiden, of Roy, of everyone who collaborated on this and Greg Matola, the director, Connie Tallow, the producer. Everyone was just so nice to work with. <laughs> and it felt like we were doing a very peculiar and special different kind of movie that we see these days. So I think all of those elements made the entire experience quite um, special. Yeah, I agree. It was such a great ensemble. Um, when there were the times that we got to see that, that was one of my favorite scenes is when you were all in the apartment kind of making dinner or just had dinner. That and a bunch of stuff. Scene. Yeah, yes, a bunch of stuff's going on. I mean, every time Annie or Lucy Punch did anything, I would just crack up. Like I couldn't keep a straight face. You know, I think getting to work, you know, they did such a good job of surrounding Fletch with very cool and interesting people. Like Kyle McLaughlin is just incredible. And just him and his EDM music, like everything was quite peculiar and out of the ordinary. And it was a bit it was wacky, but to the point where it was also grounded. So there was just a, they did a good job of, of the tone, you know, of, of finding a tone that was not slapstick, but funny, but kind of ludicrous. <laughs> I felt that your chemistry with John's was great too, because there were times where it was, you know, so solid and in sync. And then other times where you were like, okay, wait, maybe we're learning something new here as a development or so forth. Talk to me about um, what it was like kind of exploring chemistry together. It was very strict COVID protocol. So we did a chemistry read over Zoom. And I remember going, oh my God, I don't, I don't know that I, I don't know what I felt. And it <laughs> apparently went well because they were like, the chemistry was amazing. And I was like, okay. And then when we got to actually work together, I was super nervous granted, I mean, it's, it's John Hamm and I just wanted to live up to, you know, I just wanted to, 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 to pair up the whole thing. And he is so easy to work with. He's very generous. He is there for you. And that, you know, he creates a very safe space for you to explore for you to, and he's very talented. So that also doesn't, you know, that also makes things a bit easier. And I was able to really go for it. 